Hello, beautiful women. This is Eloquently Emmy, and this is Fashion Moment 76. So I'm so glad to have you back. So I'm so excited to share this video with you. So today um, we're going to talk about this this exquisite saison dress. This is the one that I wore um, for my vacation in Tybee Island, Georgia, and this is just um, this is this dress is so dreamy and beautiful. It just screams sunshine and beach, and we had such a fabulous time. I'll talk a little bit about my experience there and share a few things with you. And you know, Cezanne just just makes the loveliest dresses and, and, and everything really. And this this uh, dress was just so. Um, enchanting and warm and bitchy. I just I just love the whole effect. I'm also going to talk to you about an experience I had last Saturday where I went to like a, a renew and recharge workshop with the Ladies Lifestyle Network. It was in Valentine in Charlotte, North Carolina, and I really enjoyed it. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that experience. And so, hey, uh, without further ado, let's get started. So first, let's talk about the fashion. Okay, this is the beautiful soul dress from Cezanne. So S O L, like sun. And yes, it does remind me of sun. It's the beautiful coral flowers. Okay, and you can see that here. Let me just approach the camera a little closer, and um, you'll start to see it in the fashioning in the B roll. But these are on like an accrued print. And usually, you know, when I talk about colors, I'm cool, soft, and deep. And this is pushing the envelope a little bit for me. But I have a little bit of a tan going on with my um, Valley uh, Beach Water, and I'll list that in the comments. And that that's the, the one for lighter skin. Uh, it doesn't transfer on to clothing. So I'm, I'm loving it. I'm enjoying it. My friend Linda recommended it to me and I'm recommending it to you because I tried it out. It does not transfer onto clothing. Even like some of the expensive spray tans that I paid for. So I'm just, you know, happy to share that with you. I'm happy to test it for you. So going on, getting back to the dress, it, it does not only have coral in it. If you look closer into the print, you can see like, a woody raspberry in there. And that's why I think it works so well with me because that is a color that I can wear. And then you can see I have some pink polish on with a little bit of gold glitter. And uh, I think pink and coral go so well together. And, and Cezanne can see that too, because it's actually, it, it's, you know when you paint, you double dip a brush? Well, it's almost like they've done that with the fabric. And if you look closely, into the fabric, you can see it here. It's like it's double dipped and it's it's like a woody raspberry and a coral on a, a crew base. And it's just so lovely and dreamy. And I, I, I absolutely adore the style of this dress. It's it's almost, um, what do I wanna say? It's, you know what, who it reminds me of? It reminds me of Michelle Obama. I always love the way she dressed. It has that kind of essence to it. And it comes with a different belt though. It comes with a fabric belt. And this is a belt that I have and it's listed in my Amazon store. I needed being petite, okay? And, and I really needed to, to, if you took this off, the dress would be very A-line. And I mean, they don't want you to wear A-line either. Cezanne wants you to wear it with a fabric belt. But being petite, being only five foot one, I really needed to cinch my waist in and make my waist very defined in this and and then it really really works for me and and that's just what i needed to, to do being a small person and so that's a decision that that you can make um on your own looking in the mirror just kind of knowing what works the best for you and and it's just something visual but i love the pleating in this dress let me move back a little bit and of course you're going to see it in the, in the b-roll and i love all the attention to detail i love the the pearl buttons they're absolutely Closer again, they're absolutely fabulous. And uh, I've actually um, rolled up the sleeves. It's long sleeve, uh, which, you know, on a, on a cooler day can be nice, but it's, it's hot here. Oh my gosh, it was so hot on Tiny Island. Um, <laughs> global warming is not a myth, folks. Uh, it was so hot, and if you weren't by the beach, you were sweltering. Uh, we, we stayed in a lovely cottage. Um, but I've got the cuffs rolled up in a, in a J. Crew cuff style. Um, where I've, I've actually rolled it up 
left the cuff out, and then I double rolled it, okay, to make this cuff. But I absolutely like adore this dress. It makes you want to just sway and just kind of I'm just gonna turn around like this. But it makes you want to do this, and and it's just it's just so fabulous. So I've worn it with my um, my Tom's cork um, heels, and they are like three and a half inches, and they are almond toed. They are in the 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 natural um, color. They're the more the bone color matches with the belt. And they have a little metallic running through them, but it's almost um, indetectable unless you're looking or staring really close. But, but I think it just gives them that little special look to them. And then you'll see in the B-roll that I'm wearing it with uh, a little straw bag that's so sweet. Uh, and, and actually the leather on that matches the, the shoes perfectly. And it's got a little gold chain on it. And that is in my Amazon store, so I'll list that. And yes, I, I really like how the whole outfit comes together. You'll see me um, on the beach with my husband, and we took our Christmas pictures uh, with this. And if, in case you want to know, his outfit is from Land's End. It's a seersucker shirt with the shells on it. I love the shells, and he's wearing um, like matching um, khaki shorts with it. So yeah, he, he looks looking very dapper. <laughs> And, um, you know, we're both barefooted and that's the kind of picture I like for my Christmas card. It's just us and yeah, that's how we feel. Speaking of shells, let me approach it closer again. So I am wearing the Pamela Card Golden Ratio Necklace and this is absolutely to die for. You're going to see it again in the B-roll. It is so gorgeous. It, it's a conch shell and um, I love the chain. I love uh, how it's connected to the shell is just beautiful. All her work is beautiful. It's heirlooms, you can get it in gold for me, you can get it in solid gold, you can get it in silver. So yeah, I highly re recommend Pamela Card and her jewelry. It's just so um, timeless, artistic, and, and works of art heirlooms that you can pass on, um, you know, within your family. And it's just gorgeous. So as far as Tidy Island goes, I highly recommend it. You know, last year we took a little beach vacation to Oak Island and I love Oak Island. Um, so the difference between Tidy and Oak Island, and I could say immediately so, was uh, Tidy Island, you're looking for real surf and um, wave action, well you'll get it at Tidy. And um, whereas Oak Island was more serene and big wide beaches, the beaches were wide at Tidy, but but the surf was just so strong. I don't know if it has anything to do with the time of the year, but it was, it was a similar time of the year. And um, I saw, I gotta get this right. It's, um, it was a wing surfer. I saw a wing surfer and I'll put that up in the B-roll. He was fantastic. And I can't put the music, but if you go to my Instagram, I have it to like fly like an eagle, the you know, Steve Miller band. It's just the perfect music for it. It looks like it should be on like Chive TV or something. And he is like cruising. And I usually share stuff like that on my, my Instagram, but um, he was like fantastic. What an athlete. The, the rock heart abs and he was just like, I mean, that's kind of, that's such athleticism. And uh, yeah, so, it, that you get the surf there and everything. I wanted to go to find some shells, and I read that that Tybee Island is like one of the, the the greatest places to find shells. I found so many on Oak Island. I found some teeny little olives and a couple little things there. I mean, enough just to fit in the palm of my hand. That's all I did. I bought my little shell pouch and everything. I bought my rasher, my big old hat, and this like little old lady ready to go find shells. And I didn't hardly find anything. So, but it wasn't a disappointment because it was just beautiful there. We went to the north side of the island, the south side of the island, and uh, we went to this fabulous place um, for brunch, and it's called Mi Vida, and it was like so, um, all the food was delicious. And they had these, these um, um, smoothie bowls and like avocado toast and just everything so wholesome and fresh and fresh pressed juices. Oh, it was just to die for. I just loved it there. It inspired me so much that when we came home, I ended up buying um, an espresso machine and a juicer. And, and I was just, because I was just blown away by everything we have here. I wanted to come home and recreate it. 
And it's just like, you know, when we talk about things on the shape journey, I would rather have one good cup of espresso than, than, than three cups of coffee. And, and then the same thing with the, with the juicing. Oh, and I just want to give a shout out to my friend, Queen Webb, who just opened up her um, juicing business, and it's called Goo Goo Gaga. Uh, and she does holistic juicing. So, um, and she um, is in Chester, okay, which is in York County, South Carolina. So I'm wishing her all the luck in the world, although I don't think she's gonna need it because she is, um, she is so in touch with herself and everything and she's just she knows her craft and um yeah i just you can feel the positive energy around her and i just love her to death so yeah tiny was wonderful um that actually also the chaser and the espresso machine i'm going to list that it's in my amazon store i've tried them both i made this rainbow juice and um and of course I made espresso and I bought little cups too. And um, they're both fabulous. We're empty nesters, uh, we have two dogs. So I, I bought like the smaller versions. I don't need, you know, anything gigantic and i um, really enjoying it. I actually bought a compost um, machine uh, for outside with the thermometer and the, you know, compost, you know, encourages the growth of the compost. So, you know, you can make your black gold for your garden. I have a beautiful butterfly garden. But anyway, I was just so happy with everything. And it, it really did, the vacation really did re refresh and recharge me. And um, it was just, just what I need. You know, it's always important to take time for yourself, to renew yourself. And I, we don't take enough vacations and we vowed on vacation that we would start planning our vacations, you know, as soon as we got home, as soon as we got a little time. And, and we're you know actually starting to do that. We've got a big bucket list and a lot of places that we want to go. Segway into um, the Ladies Lifestyle Network. Um, they had a, a renew and recharge, I'm probably not gonna get it exactly right, and I'm gonna talk to you about it more, um, workshop. And with Christy Call, um, Nicole Eaton, and uh, a woman who did um, yoga and breath work, uh, Jay Lyles, and it was so fabulous. It was just, and it was another, so I had a vacation, and then the following week I had this this recharging event, and like Nicole Eaton, she talked about, you know, manifesting um, your dreams in your life and what you want to achieve, and Christy Cole is like, a, is, uh, she's a success coach, and, and her talk was just amazing. I just came out of there. Um, and, and she, and she has a woman who works with her, Casey, it just, it was just so fabulous. I came out of there feeling like, wow. And then they had all this self care stuff. And there was this one booth there. Um, it's uh, called athletic upgrade too. It's Alyssa and Jessica. And they have this, um, they did like these services of, um, the, the, the this, uh, what is it called? It's a cryo, um, thing where they put this coldness on your face. And, and then they can do it for sports too. So you have like um, sports pain and everything. Um, I'll, I'll put it, I'll, I'll flash it up, the real name. And then they had the red light therapy and the compression therapy. And then they had all kinds of skincare and authors and, and um, you know, it, intuitive and um, henna and just, I mean, it, yeah, did I say skincare? It was amazing there. We actually did yoga. With, with 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 Jay and 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 she um, she had one of those Tibetan bowls and it was just like oh and and we had breakfast it was just amazing I mean I just came out of there feeling fabulous so you know talking about the sheep journey do you feel like you're worth it to go to something like that did you ever have a time when you didn't feel like you were worth it. This is something I want to ask you. I want to pose this question because I'll probably talk more about this, but I think there was a time where maybe I didn't feel like I was worth it or maybe I was going to spend that $55 to go to something like that. Why not? Why? I felt like I was so recharged after that. My creativity, my strength, my power, I just, my abundance, everything was just so charged up, I just felt so wonderful. So if you don't feel like you're worth it, I wanna tell you right now that you are. You are worth it, okay?
I want to encourage you to visit their Instagrams, okay? Let me tell you one more time. It's um, the Ladies Lifestyle Network, okay? Um, Nicole Eaton. Go take a visit to um, um, Athletic Upgrade, too. They have a sprinter. They will bring their machines out to you, and they have a really good price on their stuff and, and, and give you some self-care, the self-care that you need. You know, self-care is not selfish. You need that so you can give back. You need to take care of yourself so that you can give. You know, if, if, if you're empty inside, how can you give to anybody else? If, if, if you don't feel worthy, how can you make other people feel special? You can't. You can't do it. Okay? So that's all I'm going to say right now. But I'm going to tell you, if you ever get a chance to see them, please do it because you're, it's just going to be so worth it. Um, I went with my sister, and, and I didn't even know anything about it. She told me. So it, it was just something that happened that I'm so thankful for in my life, and I just wanted to share it with you. And that's, that's what I'm about here. That's what the Sheep Journey is about. And um, um, with that, I just want to say um, I really enjoyed making this video for you. And um, if you like content like this, don't forget to click the like and subscribe. And uh, hey... Always remember to wear your sunscreen and always remember to live your life passionately.